Hi there, my Erongo Talk viewers. My name is Adolf Kore and I am your host for today here in Valfus Bay at the Eden's Nursery. So today our interview is with Yohareta, a local musician who talks about her latest single, Blodrick. We'll also be speaking to Melissa Mueller, who is also known as Scarlet Grey. And she talks about Rap Battles Conversations, uh, an event which is about to take place pretty soon. So today is World Bride Day. I'll be back right after this. It is now time for the news here at the Eden's Nursery in Valfas Bay. Firstly, the Heartbeat Recreation Hub hosts the Paint and Picasso uh, event on Saturday. So according to the organizer and owner of the Heartbeat, Natalie Boyce, she looks forward to hosting the event more consistently. I want to make it a monthly event because I have seen that there are many artists at the coast so boys said that the event uh, the initiative is to get artists together and make sure uh, they enjoy their exposure secondly shekinah de sosa and delano Mueller were crowned as miss and mr ace uh, models coastal respectively during the coronation ceremony at seaside hotel in swakopmund last saturday so the competition comprised of various sections, namely uh, for costumes, interviews, and evening wear, uh, with the contestants doing their best to impress the judges. So Shekinah was also Miss Photogenic, and she also scooped the prize for best costume for ladies. In the costume section, contestants were required to choose a country and come up with a costume as well as a theme for that country. So Shekinah's country of choice was Portugal and she danced to the tune of Soatome and Prince Dua Calame's hit Te Amo. Uh, Multi-talented Shekinah also serenaded the audience with a well-delivered vocal performance before she received the Director's Choice Award. She said that months of preparation uh, leading to the event had paid off, saying, I am astounded because I did not expect it. Mr. Ace Models Coastal, uh, 2021 Delano Muller expressed his satisfaction at scooping the title once again as it was his second time in a row for doing so. It is always exciting when you win, he said. Last but not the least, Thomas Thomas, a 33-year-old local musician, also known as Kele, uh, will not allow a lack of support to derail his plans uh, the motivational speaker has too much love and passion for what he does nothing comes easy in life what uh, what can't break you makes you stronger he said so thomas uh, de uh, developed a passion for producing and filming while at school uh, he formed his first beats by drumming his fingers on his school desks and explained his passion by visiting uh, expanded his passions by visiting music studios these days he owns ongushu media uh, media a music studio in swakopmund and intends to become one of the best music producers and film director of note so that concludes our entertainment news for today I'm joined here by Melissa Mueller, uh, also known as Scarlet Grey, that is now the founder and facilitator of 
Rap Battles Conversation. Tell us who is the muse um, herself, Scarlett Grey. Well, Scarlett Grey is an artist, an all-rounder. She has walked a path and continues the journey. So the seeds lie deep and the proof is in the art. Mm. So I don't want to give too much away because yeah. it's a story that I'm telling mm. about what is real and what isn't real. Awesome stuff. And obviously we don't want to go too deep into it, as you humbly said, but you've won a, a competition as well earlier. Uh, was it last year? Tell us more about that. How did it feel? This was the Namibian Championships of Performing Arts. I did take part in 2018 and 19, mm -hmm. and I obtained gold medals in my rap act. Mm -hmm. I did do a vocal act where I was rapping as well. Um, for my acting, I got the gold, and for my rapping, I got a gold as well. So that was, that was actually very interesting, and I enjoyed the fact that I can learn and grow and push myself to be a little bit better than those years that I participated in. So I qualified to go to Los Angeles, and um, obviously COVID happened and everything like that, so the rest is history. <laughs> And we're still here, we're still doing what we're doing despite COVID-19. And that's why we, we have to talk about Rap Battles Conversation. Tell me, how did the concept of Rap Battles Conversation come to you, uh, before, you, you before you actually decided, I'm going to do this? Where did the idea spring, uh, spring from? Well, I am very passionate about my country and lifestyle change and introspection. So... I see a lot of upcoming artists, I was one of those. Mm -hmm. And I, I believe knowledge is power, and not only just knowledge itself, but the application of knowledge. Mm -hmm. And I believe reading. In Namibia, I feel mm -hmm. like we don't read enough, mm -hmm. and we don't improve on our language and the skill enough. Mm -hmm. So I was thinking, what could I possibly, how could I make this fun? Because mm -hmm. you know, educational systems, it's not that, fun to like sit now in the class and so I'd like a fun perspective and aspect of it and I was like let me do rap battle conversations yeah. and you have to add the conversation part to the title yes. because it's not about battling mm -hmm. and animosity mm -hmm. it's about the skill and okay. the art of storytelling mm -hmm. through rhymes spontaneously Yes, exactly. So this is something obviously that really sparks the mind. Um, you've had a few episodes. You've had the first one in Ventuk and then a few, a few ones here in Sokop as well. How did it go so far with the ones that you've had in, in, in Sokop? It was great. I, like, like you mentioned, I started my first one in Ventuk at Vinyls. And yeah, the first one was the first one, you know. <laughs> it was the start. But once I moved to Swakop, and I hosted the second one and the third. It was very good, it was very interesting. Um, I also tested out some venues and I'm new to Swakop, so I love the fact that I did get a, a good response. And now we will be launching officially the fourth Rap Battle Conversations mm -hmm. and also to continue in the future, every month, once a month. That's awesome. Now tell me, what are some of the benefits that rappers can get out of um, Rap Battles Conversations, apart from the prizes? Well, the benefits is actually underlying, right? Mm. It's, it's a journey, like I say. We should focus our minds on not the final destination, but the process that is leading towards that. So you grow as an artist, you get to learn you get to discover people, you network. Yeah. So those are the underlying things. And trust me, you never know who is sitting in the audience at what time. Your life could change at any moment. And that's what I want Namibian artists to understand, to, to, to always, always be ready, like you're born ready. I always say, mm -hmm. I'm born ready. Yeah. So once you have that aura about you, everything in life falls into place towards your purpose. Yeah. So I want to discover, I want people to discover, is rap for them? Mm. Maybe acting is for them. They started out a rapper mm. and then somebody saw them like, wow, you've got actually talent to act. Okay. 
and that kind of thing. So it's all about growth and expanding yourself. And also identifying who you are. Definitely. That is one of the vital roles, to know and identify who you are. All right, um, Scarlett Grey, um, the prizes obviously is, is something that is um, secondary to the whole experience, but what can uh, people expect um, to walk o away with at Rap Battles Conversations? Well, since we have been launching one, two, and three, the fourth one will be an open platform. And the prize that was the main prize throughout the past three is an artist mentorship program. Mm -hmm. So here I will be taking artists alongside a journey with myself as the mentor and taking them, showing them all the ropes that I had to go through by myself in this industry yeah. and making the load a little bit lighter for them mm -hmm. so they can know what to expect in this industry that mm -hmm. we have. Yeah. So it's the artist mentorship program. All right, and that one is for you, for, for the winner, for Mahala. Yeah, usually it most comes at an expense. So moving forward, uh, what are your closing remarks? Well, the journey must always continue like encore. Mm -hmm. And despite everything, let's look alive and let's be proactive. Thank you very much, Scarlett Gray, and keep on watching Erongo Talk. Kijk samen met mij hier is die mooie Joretta Nel. Of Joretta, jij het omtrent so twee weke terug die 10 september vir Blauwdruk vrygestel. Vertel dit vir ons, hoe dit gegaan? Hallo, dit is so lekker vir jou weet ek nie. Sjo, dit het baie goed gegaan. Um, ja, dit was twee weke terug, so vrijdag. Die liekie, ek moet gaan kyk, ek was uh, liekie terug op, op YouTube gewees, dit gaan bykie dol hier, maar ek denk ons strijf hier by 5000 views, dit baie goed is. Um, ek het soveel goeie, goeie kommentaar teruggekry van die publiek af en ja, Blauwdruk is nou op die oomlik my hoogtepunt en ek wil dit vir allemaal baie dankies hier wat om share en wat comment en om net like, dit kom ek julle laaf en ek waardeer dit. Ja, maar vertel nog iets vir ons bykie van die song, want die lyrics, die lyriek is my so sterk en het die boodskap, vertel vir ons bykie daarvan. Ach, ek het laatst weer vertel, ek wil net bykie iets positiefs uitbring vir die mense en ja, ek denk ons het nodig allemaal in die tijd so ek wou bykie focus op emoties en mense net op die veel, want dit is so raai Ons het allemaal maak nie so wie jy is en jy gaan weer iets in gaan in jou leven. So dit is een kei val, staan op en wat die belangrijkste van alles vir my is, loods net iets achter wat mense jou kan van onthou. En ek wou iets gekryd wat alles opsom en blauw druk en net vir my die baie mooi uitgeweel. Awesome! Nou, aside van YouTube en Facebook, het Cosmos in die song gespeel. Kijk net! Ek wil my baie dankies het vir Postmo, denk ek al gesewe wat om so baie speel. Ek hoor om elke dag, ek nie self, want ek is nie heel dag in my kaart nie. Maar ek wil een SMS vir die mense, want sy is vir Postmo. Ah, dit is perfect! So ek wil my baie dankies aan Postmo's selfde vir kanaal 7 en dan kyk net daar gaan een van die tijd vrygestel word daar so waar ek daar daar en dan op alle digitale platforms, Spotify iTunes you name it, hy is reed op van hulle, maar ek krijg ons nou daar nou die bekeid ja, het opkom so as dit op is en sal ek vir julle kan sê dan kan julle dit aankoop en my so ondersteun want series is nou uit op die oom ja Oh, dit is awesome! Ja, so ek is excited! Cool! En dan vertel vir ons bykie van die video. Ek weet, dit is Nathalie Studios en jy het die idee gehad van jy gaan op die fiets sit en die haren gaan waai, maar jy het nou die hele ander draai gevat. Ek het een prentje, maar Nathalie Studio en swak op hulle is die beste. Hulle is kreatief en jong en funky. En hulle het luidere gehoor en sê, ok, luidere, ons gaan die fiets in te bij. Kom ons doen iets cools. Ons vat vir Atata wat jy laatste gedoen het ons gaan maak om nog lekker en cooler en ons gooi los. So ja, hulle het baie genuis idees gehad met Blauwdruk ons het uitgegaan op die in Rooibank, dis waar ons het opgeneem het en dan het ons ook in die studie opgeneem, so dit was die tweede video shoot en allemaal wat we trokken was daarby, alles het net baie mooi afgeloof, so ja, ek jy moet ek kyk, is so goed, is so goed ja, maar gelukkig, 
gaan van, ek gaan die Rango Talk vandag hierdie video speel so die mense kan lekker kyk waar oor gaan blauwdruk na einde. Ja. Jorita, wat is nou volgende vir jou? Ek weet die jaar is op einde, maar is daar ietsie aan die kom? Misschien een kind. Ja, weet jy wat, hierdie was nou my babiekie blauwdruk en um, daarom hoop ek vir kieks ja. concerte en ek bid en vertrouw en hoop en gro en sal een of ander tyd weer allemaal met mekaar kom op die feeste en ek vind lekker met mekaar kom. So jy, ek wil nou nie vir blauwdruk lekker optreer, live sing met al ons ander songs um, to ondersteun ons as het lief vir enige trouwens concerte as jy nie op wat tyd jou, jy is meer as daar kom om vir my te boek, ek wil loof, ek sal die tele die moeite vir ek maak. Awesome, en dan het om ten laatste, het jy een boodskap aan jou fans, jou mens, jou gemeenskap? Ja, daar is een bykie verblijfdruk, ek denk, dit som sommer baie van myself om, en ek voel, as jy dier een moeilike tyd nie gaan, of misschien enige moet jy vier en door en gee om boord, kan jy graag na die Lerike gaan luister. Ek denk dit spreek boek deel en kan jy net goed doen as mens. En dan het laas is baie dankie sê vir allemaal wat my so ondersteun in my muziek en wat daar is vir my en vir my bezig hou en positief hou. Het is baie lief jylle. Awesome! Baie dankie Joretta. Baie dankie dat ons altyd met jou kan gesel. Is dit so seer? Hi there, I'm Rian Smitta and this is... And Jangle. And today's lesson about how to perform and get the most out of your shows is collaboration. Because when you're singing a song all by yourself, you know... Ooh, Lord, it don't trouble so hard. Ooh, Lord, it might trouble so hard. Don't nobody know my troubles but God. Don't nobody know my troubles but God. See, it sounds a whole lot more interesting to me when we're jamming together, and why else is it good to jam? About? Because then you get to reach different social media platforms. Because the more people together, the more they share it on their s their own pages, and the more people get to reach you. And that is the bottom line of, um, I guess, anything getting anything out there, your music. And um, it's just to reach a bigger audience. And for me, it also gets the best out of me when someone like her or these artists bring it out in me because I'm like, hey, this is so good, I must also get good. <laughs> and it brings out the best in each other. So collaborate because it's much better than just stopping and listening. All right, see you later. And in the sports news, firstly, the Valfus Bay Salt Refiners Junior Cricket Festival Games kicked off yesterday morning. So this annual festival is sponsored by Valfus Bay Salt Refiners and is hosted by Cricket Namibia for the 25th year. So this is also the 8th consecutive year that the uh, Valfus Bay Salt Group is involved in the Coastal Cricket Festival, which is now known as the Salt Refiners Youth Tournament. So the competing age groups are under 13, under 19 girls, as well as under 11 and under 13 boys. So secondly, the Cycles for You hosts the Sea Work Gravel Grinder at the Moonlight Resort on the outskirts of Swako Moon on Saturday. So 20 Namibian dollars of every entry fee will be donated to the Sea Work Care Trust, uh, said the organizer Alphonse Kisaveta, uh, where uh, 35,000 Namibian dollars worth of prizes are also up for grabs. So Alphonse Kisaveta will also tell us more about this specific event. And don't forget that registration uh, for this event will take place today. Uh, that is from 4 to 6 at the Cycles for You or online. So that concludes the sports news. Do keep on watching this exciting show.
Alphonse uh, Kizavesa. You're the owner of uh, Cycles for You as well as the organizer of a very interesting um, cycling and running event happening this weekend. Tell us more about that. Yes, um, we've got the Seaworks Gravel Grinder this weekend where we got MTB, uh, 80 kilometer, a 50 kilometer, and a 25 kilometer, so that every boy, all ages can take part. Mm -hmm. And then we've got the runners on a 25, a 10, and a 5 kilometer. Mm -hmm. uh, we're starting on Saturday morning at half past seven at the Moonlight Resort out there on the plotter, mm -hmm. and it starts and finishes there. Okay. Um, yeah. and entry uh, fees? Uh, for the 80 kilometer and the 50 kilometer mountain bike, it's 270. In for the 25, it's 170, and for the five kilometer run, it's five is 120. Awesome! And the special involvement of um, SeaWorks. Uh, some of the money is going to be don donated for charity. Yes, uh, SeaWorks is is the main sponsor of the race. Um, but what we do is they are going to have the day there, they're going to have calamari and a bar and everything, and all the everything that's get taken in there is going to go for their charity, plus 20 rand of every entry. We're going to donate to the charity as well. Wow, 20 Namibian dollars. What a beautiful, a wonderful initiative. What is your word out there for all the cyclists and runners at the coast and Namibia as a whole? Well, we've had difficult times with the corona and everything, and we couldn't host events because we couldn't have big uh, crowds around. So, yeah, everybody's hungry for racing, especially here, and that's why every, all the runners and cyclists, you're all welcome to enter the race. It is a race that is doable for everybody. It's not technical. It's just, a, like it says, gravel grinder. You're going to sit on two wheel, uh, uh, jeep tracks and on graded roads so it's fun for the whole family what we're also having there at the start finish line for the parents or that w want to wait for the rider to come back or runner there will be uh, jumping castles there will be coffee and everything there so you can spend the day out there as well all right i definitely will be there so to all the cyclists and runners out there see you on saturday yes It is now time for the weather forecast and tides of all the major towns in the Erongo region. In your weather for today, Office Bay expects a maximum temperature of 21 degrees Celsius with a minimum of 13 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 20 degrees Celsius for tomorrow. The wind is expected in a south-southwesterly direction at about 13 kilometers per hour. Sunrise was this morning at 10 minutes to 7 and sunset is expected at 2 minutes to 7 tonight. Swakopmund expects a maximum temperature of 19 degrees Celsius for today with a minimum of 13 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 18 degrees Celsius for tomorrow. The wind is expected in a southwesterly direction at about 9 km per hour. Sunrise was this morning at 10 minutes to 7 and sunset is expected at 2 minutes to 7 tonight. Hentis Bay expects a maximum temperature of 18 degrees Celsius for today with a minimum of 13 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 18 degrees Celsius for tomorrow. The wind is expected in a south-southwesterly direction at about 11 km per hour. Sunrise was this morning at 9 minutes to 7 and sunset is expected at 1 minute to 7 tonight. Arandas expects a maximum temperature of 36 degrees Celsius for today with a minimum of 17 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 37 degrees Celsius for tomorrow. The wind is expected in a south-southeasterly direction at about 11 km per hour. Sunrise was this morning at 14 minutes to 7 and sunset is expected at 6 minutes to 7 tonight. Usakwas expects a maximum temperature of 36 degrees Celsius for today with a minimum of 14 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 37 degrees Celsius for tomorrow. The wind is expected in a south-southeasterly direction at about 11 km per hour. Sunrise was this morning at 14 minutes to 7 and sunset is expected at 6 minutes to 7 tonight. Karibab expects a maximum temperature of 36 degrees Celsius for today with a minimum of 16 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 37 degrees Celsius for tomorrow. The wind is expected in a south-southeasterly direction at about 9 km per hour. 
Sunrise versus morning at quarter to seven and sunset is expected at seven minutes to seven tonight. Omaruru expects a maximum temperature of 38 degrees Celsius for today with a minimum of 15 degrees Celsius and a maximum of 38 degrees Celsius for tomorrow. The wind is expected in a southerly direction at about 9 km per hour. Sunrise versus morning at 16 minutes to 7 and sunset is expected at 7 minutes to 7 tonight. And that unfortunately brings us to the end of this edition of a Rongo Talk here at the Eden's Nursery. It was definitely a pleasure having you in our company. So joined uh, with me here is the Scarpi class uh, and they will help me to say bye to you. But before we get into that, don't forget that we are also available on our website which is www dot erongo dot com dot na and we also have a whatsapp and telegram number as well which is oh eight double one seven triple oh four oh i repeat oh eight double one seven triple oh four oh so do send your landscape videos and new steps to that and that is also your go-to number for advertisement opportunities our television station which is now doing the most is one up two dot com do check all the shows of nmh on that specific uh, channel so since it's friday don't forget also that we do have the hunters chill session and we have a bunch of artists that are, that are going to be doing the most on that specific platform so until monday again it has once again been a pleasure having you in my company so for me adolf kore and the rest of the crew it's bye bye Love